Hey there, YouTube. So, um, I've been meaning to make this video for a while, uh, ever since I got back from Tennessee from TYMI, but uh, Christopher's been busy and unavailable, so I haven't had my camera person. So let's just jump right into it. Say hi, Christopher. Hello. He's tired. Um, so I'm going to give a brief summary of how TYMI went and my thoughts on it and what I took away from it. Um, briefly, I want to apologize. I meant to do follow-up videos with everyone that I interviewed, and then that just ended up not happening, so I do apologize for that, YouTube. Um, if I can, if you guys are interested, I can try to pull them aside when I do see them again, and maybe get a quick review with them, but uh, we'll leave that up to the comments section. If you guys are interested in it, leave it in the comments. If you're not, that's fine. Okay, so... During TYI, um, I was at TYI, I wasn't at TYM, I wasn't at TMI, you guys know that. So, a lot of significant stuff happened. Okay, so our, our speaker was Joseph Sojourner, or Sojo, as he liked to be called. And let's just say Sojo was amazing. He was an incredible speaker, he was very good about getting his point across, like getting out there, getting his point across. He was very good about that. Um... He kept me, like, locked on to every word he said while he spoke. And it's not easy for me to do that with people who speak, guys. I, you know, I have a hard time sitting still and everything and paying attention for a long period of time. So to have someone to be able to talk for, like, an hour and be able to keep me interested the whole time, that takes talent. You know, that takes a God-given gift. So Sojo was amazing. He was an amazing speaker. He told us his story. He was vulnerable with us. You know, he shared his experiences. Um, he talked to us about our talents, about our gifts that God had given us, about not seeing the world through filters, and about, you know, when we fail, you know, leaning on God, or, you know, turning to Jesus and not letting it beat us down. Um, my two electives I took were urban farming, and that's really all about, you know, growing food and stuff in cities. You know, growing food where you don't think food would grow. Fresh produce and stuff like that, you know, fresh tomatoes, stuff like that. They even taught us a few tricks on how to get figs to grow up north. Um, those of you who don't know, I love figs. I absolutely love figs. Um... And then my other one was straight talk. Now, Dustin did talk about this, so I'll just briefly say, you know, we talked about some major, you know, some controversial subjects of today, such as things like abortion and drugs and stuff like that. Some very controver controversial, sorry, some very controversial topics, and it was a very good space. Um, I usually don't speak up in groups of people, but in this instance, I did. Uh, D groups was amazing for those of you who don't know so Cassidy talked about morning mana that's when Sojo talked and um, after morning mana we would go and meet up with, with our uh, dorms in what was called D groups we would unpack the morning we would talk about it everything like that it was amazing um, my overall experience really good I really enjoyed it and I will I want to tell you guys a story about something that happened down there. So Saturday morning while we were there with Sojo and he was talking, he was telling us about Peter, you know, all of Peter's failures. You know, before, you know, during the time that Peter knew Jesus, how many times we see Peter going back to fishing? And we see it a lot. You know, so many times he, he knows who Jesus is, he knows what he's been called to do, but he just doesn't do it. And... In a lot of ways, guys, I relate to Peter. You know, I know what God has called me to do. And I just, I'm intimidated. I've let myself be intimidated by the world. And I've let myself become overwhelmed. And I've failed. And, you know, something that Sojo helped me to realize, and, you know, God speaking through this man helped me to realize is that, yes, I've failed. But I don't have to allow that to continue to be me. If I don't want to continue to fail, I just have to lean on Jesus and he will get me through. You know, whatever God has called me to do, wherever I'm supposed to go in this world and whatever I'm supposed to do, if I trust God to do it, then it'll get done. And that was a very, that I needed to hear that message, guys. I didn't realize how badly I needed to hear it until I heard it, but I did. 
and I just I thank God for Sojo and for everyone who was down there, my brothers and sisters who were down there. You know, we did some incredible things. We had some incredible discussions amongst our generation because so often our generation is either looked at as, you know, failures or we're looked at as, you know, tomorrow's church. But we're not tomorrow's church. We're today's church. You know, yes, we need to listen to our elders. We need to listen to the people who are older than us, who have had these experiences, who know the Lord, who have known him a lot longer than us, who have spent time with him, and who have experienced these things, who have grown wise. You know, we need to do that. But at the same time, we should not be pushed to the side. We're not tomorrow's church. We're today's church. Even a small child is the church of today. There is no waiting for tomorrow. If God has called you to do something, and this is the biggest thing I've taken away from TYI 2019. If God has called you to do something, do it. Let God lead you. Don't try and do it in your own strength because your own strength isn't enough. But let God lead you and he will get it done. If he has called you to do it, it will get done. And don't worry about the details. God will handle it all. I'm not saying rush in blindly. Don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm not saying rush in blindly and, you know, not putting any thought into it. But I'm also, but I am saying, don't sit around and wait and wait and wait and wait. Don't wait for God to open up the heavens and speak to you face to face to tell you to do something. If God's calling you to do something, pray about it and then do it. If God is really calling you to do it, let God lead you. Even if it's hard. I mean, look at Peter. He didn't have an easy life. God does not promise us an easy life. You know, look at Peter and Paul and Andrew and James and John. All these, you know, great men of faith who all suffered for the faith. So don't expect to have an easy life. But that's okay. Because God will get you through it. That's the biggest thing I took away from TYMI 2019. Um... That was the main thing I wanted to say. I will say the location was nice. I enjoyed being in Tennessee. This was my first time in Nashville. It was a great time. I really enjoyed it, and I would really love to go back. But at the same time, I know that I have to bring it back here with me to West Virginia, and that's what I'm working to do, guys. I'm working, you know, to bring what I learned and what I was taught and what I experienced back here because it doesn't end just when the congregation all goes their separate ways. You know, we need to bring that back with us. The Holy Spirit is moving in each of us. And we were we were shown something down there by God. We were shown something that God wants from us. And so that's the that's one important thing is, you know, I learned to carry it back with me. Um I'm sorry guys, I've gone on a little longer than I meant to. But those are my those are my thoughts on uh, TYMI TY, 2019. Just a quick review, a quick summary, a story I wanted to share, and really some things God showed me and some things God spoke to me about. Um, I hope you guys are all having a great day. Uh, I will talk to you. I will see you guys later. I'm, there will be another video coming up very soon. Um, I would ask for you guys to pray for me. Uh, I will be preaching this Sunday, so please pray for me. Um, can you think of anything else, Christopher? No. All right, say bye, Christopher. Bye. See you guys later. God bless you.